All right, here we go. So yeah, now this setup with the light in the front. That fire team is old power overpowered though, as many will attest. And with that nuke where this card is not saying this, it's it doesn't unleash a copy of this hero's strongest attack. F per devs, it's it unleashes a copy of the strongest attack on your team. I'm assuming of that affinity. So there should be no mixed out there, right? No greens hitting in the purple guy or dragoon hitting with crazy amounts of uh, damage either, right? Wink, wink <laughs> for all you folks in the back. Uh, so yeah, now watch because you put putrid in, it should drop down um, the nuke, how hard it was hitting before it hit with a three Q. You're taking a lot of the power gems away. So it's not allowing for whole columns to crush like turn one where all uh, the columns crush, all the seven. So same activation as before. You don't have, um, you do have the putrid in, so it's taken a couple away. And see, it's not too, too big of gems. And the hit is far less too. Which is uh, what, 82.6 T that guy's hitting. I was told not to look at that, but I gauge a lot of my damage around that, so I'm sorry. But now you have your card there. He's immune, so I will immune myself as well, so your Relic, Egg, and Buff Pack will not hit me. And then I'll show you the Zap, which should be a lot less of a... Should be in that 6 to 900 Q. Uh, not Q. 1.2 Q. Okay. So that's a huge difference, as you can see, the drop down. It's still not huge enough for what they need and this and that. But you got folks like myself making a big stink. They're going to obviously do something to drop it now. That's what they all do. They'll play like it's by design. Calm down, Zeno. No, you don't know how to play our game very good. <laughs> I'm being arrogant. But I'm also being truthful. Yeah. And a child as a gamer. No, regardless of what anybody says, this is water. I should not be able to 1.2 Q and kill that. Come on, man. Anyways, though, that's how it works. I hope it helps. 